Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Scum Single Player episode. So, today's the day, we go fishing today, and my plan is, we need to go and find a boat. Now I think I know where a boat is, I'm just along a wee bit from the house, just south of the uh, the gas station for all the other boats in Zulu Zero. Uh, and, well, I've, I've killed a donkey because, now hear me out, why has he got a red eye? Look at his eyes! Why has he got a red eye? Why has he got a red eye? Why are you so evil? Oh, I need to skin this. Hold on. Now, the reason why I've killed this donkey is because I don't actually have any bait. And I was on my way over here to start the episode when I found the donkey kind of just out in the wilderness. So, I'm going to turn him into bait. I'm going to turn him into bait. Because you can use meat as bait. And we've got our fishing rod. It's all assembled. It's all ready to go. It's got its line. It's got its reel. It's got its float. And it's got its treble hook. Now we just need the bait. Okay, so we're just going to chop up everything here and essentially make loads of meat baits. As soon as we get our, ourselves some sardines on the other hand though, we're going to try and go into deeper water and try and find maybe some tuna, maybe some orata. You know, basic stuff. Right, let's make a meat, a, a nice meaty fish bait. Ooh. Ooh. Lots and lots of meaty fish baits. In fact, you know what we'll do? You know what we'll do? We'll do this. My guy's a little bit on the warm side. So what I will do is I'll take this off. And we'll just go with that. Uh, I can put that in there. And I can put that in there. You know what? That'll do. That'll do. We've got some meat bait already. So we can start, we can start with that stuff. But what we'll do is we'll transfer the meat from this... Uh, from this, oh my god. Get out the way. Oh my god. Right, I need to get to the boat quickly if there is a boat down here. Right. Oh god, cut corners and stuff. I think I can see a boat. I think I can see a boat. I'm going to go down here. Oh, I'm not going to go down there. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. There is a boat there, I can see it. Woo, wall ride, let's go. Okay. What we'll do is we'll stop the car, or the car? The motorcycle here. Right, we'll drop all this stuff out, put this in our inventory. Uh, we'll take this over here. Can I just, can I just do this? I can just do that. Drop down here. And let's throw this stuff into the boat. Let's get this stuff in the boat. There we go. How much fuel's that got? It's got plenty. Uh, we'll put our... No, we'll just keep our jacket here. Put that on there. So we've got a meat bait ready to go. Um, I'm just going to check in here to see if I've got any snacks, you know. When you go fishing, you always need some snacks. Like today, I went fishing with Casual Guy. And we caught ourselves four pike. We could have caught way more pike, though. We could have caught way, 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 way more uh, but the bugger snapped us off so that was a wee bit of a misfortune I lost a couple of lures Ian lost a couple of lures you know it's just how it is with fishing you know right we'll go through here and yes I forgot my GoPro I didn't record it I'm sorry <laughs> I know I'm gonna get grilled for that but I just wanted to take him out for the for the one Saturday that I had that he was free really so the next time you see us fishing or the next time I go fishing I will most definitely bring my GoPro with me and I will most definitely 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 record it all okay come on here we go let's go forward Right, we need to refill our uh, our boat here. There we go, and stop. Stop, 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 stop. Right, where are you going? God damn it, hold on. This needs to be perfect, I think. I mean, the alternative is I have to I have to do it the old-fashioned way. OK. 
Okay, I am micromanaging this a wee bit too much, but, you know. Right. Stop. God damn it. I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. Wait, will this work if I do it this way? There we go. So don't target the boat itself, actually target the engine. God damn it. <laughs> right. Full of fuel, we're ready to go. Full of fuel and ready to go. Okay, do we need to do anything here? I don't think we need to do anything here. What I'll do is I'll put away some stuff that I don't need in my backpack. Like my, uh, my binos. I didn't actually need to bring those with me. In fact, I don't even need to do that. Hold on. Get them in the... Get them in the motorcycle, so I've got loads of space. Motorcycle. Put that in there, put that in there. And do we need anything else here? I don't need, I don't think I need to bring my shotgun with me. I'll leave my shotgun. I'll leave that. That's a little bit more room for everything else. That's perfect. That's good. Right. Um, I'll take, no. Yeah, I'll take my pistol. I'll take my pistol. I'll take my pistol. And I'll put that in my back now. That's our, that's our, uh, our sushi making tool right there. <laughs> right. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Now, if I don't catch a big fish, don't say anything, okay? I will eventually find a big fish to catch, okay? Right, so what we'll start with, we'll start with the coastline itself. So let's go along the coast a wee bit. And let's target some fish. Very light waves today. I think we'll be okay. What we'll do is we'll go out to this point here. That little tree. As soon as we hit that little tree, we'll go to the right. We'll go into a little bit deeper water. And then we'll start our fishing escapade. Right, there we go. Turn right. Right, let's slow ourselves down here. So what you want to do is you want to look for the little icons that pop up, the wee little fishy icons. I mean, you don't necessarily have to do that. You can just start fishing wherever you want here, really. In fact, this might be okay, actually, right here. In fact, yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Right. Fishing rod. First person. We have a nice, um, old-ass spinning reel. We have what I can only assume is a telescopic rod. We have a massive pike float. And we have a treble hook, which has one little bit of bait on it. What could go wrong, right? What could go wrong? Did I just see a fishy icon? Aha, a fishy icon. Did you see it? I saw it. There it is, look. Right, here we go. Hold left click. Get it out there. Okay. It is bobbing way to hell. Jesus. Right. Let's hope we can catch something here. Let's focus. Oh! Woo! Okay, so we caught an errata. Which is good. I also got uh, an achievement for that. Uh, we'll keep that. We'll put that into the boat. So we've got one orata, which is good. Get another bit of bait on there. Cast it out. Watch the bobber. There's a big fishy icon over there. Hopefully we can get a, a little sardine or something like that. I'm a little bit on the hungry side. That's okay though. Watch the bobber. And you gonna sink? You gonna get grabbed? Mm, nothing so far. God damn it, fish! Pick up the bait! Come on! There can't be just one orata, really. What? God! God damn it! I need to left click in order to do that. Oh, there we go. 
Aha! Sardine! Spotted sardine. Keep. Right, we want to make that into a sardine fish bait now. And we want to put that onto the rod. And now you'll see we've got a little sardine on there now. Do you know what I love about this? I love that the physics is also enacted on the fishing line. Watch this. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, I love doing daft stuff like that. Right. Sardine bait. This should be a little bit better. Now that we're using a sardine in the sea, I think we'll, we'll pick up something a little bit bigger. I think. I think that's how it's going to work. These waves are throwing me off here. As soon as that little bobber sinks, we're going to make ourselves... Wait, 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 wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Come on. God damn it. Okay. So, <laughs> as the old saying goes, it's called fishing for a reason. It's not called catching. Oh. I thought that was going under there. I thought that went under there. I just need to keep my eye on that. Whoa! Oh no, you mother... Right. Right. Wait, where's... Oh, there it is. Take out my nylon line. Put that on there. Put the bobber on, put the hook on, put the meat on. Right, let's try this again. This is literally all this episode's going to be, guys. It's going to be me raging at the fact that I can't get these big fish in. Away! Okay. Hopefully we get something big again. Hopefully. If I can get a few more little sardines, that would be really good. Oh, don't start, don't start growling, man. The alternative is we can change location and go for freshwater. Freshwater fish are good fun. That's what I was doing today with the uh, with casual guy. Targeting pike. I love pike. I don't eat them, by the way. For anybody wondering, I don't keep free. Uh, I don't keep uh, freshwater fish. I don't take them. I don't kill them. I simply release them. Take that as you will. <laughs> I'm a, I guess I'm a big advocate for freshwater fish being caught and released. I don't like keeping uh, freshwater fish. Saltwater fish, on the other hand. Oh, it's a wee sardine. <laughs> Saltwater fish, on the other hand, I will actively take. I, I don't know if you want to call that a bias or if you want to call that whatever you want. But... Saltwater fish generally taste better, in my opinion. Freshwater fish don't taste that good. They don't taste that good. Whoa! Now, one thing that I need to say here, and I think I've said this before, as an angler myself, um, this game needs to have the ability for players to control the drag. Now, the drag is basically... The setting on a reel that allows you to play the fish a little bit better. Uh, it in some some cases it will it will genuinely help you stop the fish from breaking you off. Oh, I get I get completely distracted there. But anyway, uh, I do wish we could set the drag on the reels uh, because a high drag means that you can literally just bully the fish in. You can literally leverage the hook in its mouth and just drag the thing in without it fighting you but the the chance of it breaking off or the chance of you actually damaging the fish as you're pulling it in quite high uh, but if you've got your drag set the correct way the fish can swim away and you can try and control the way that it moves or control the way that it, it, it runs and it allows you to tire the fish out allows you to like fight the fish essentially so i would like to see that on these reels. I would also like to see different types of reels. The one that we've got right now is like a size 4,000? 6,000? Between four and 6,000 size reel. 
And it's just a classic spinning rod. It's a front it's a front drag. Whoa! Front drag spinning reel. Yeah, the more sardines I can get, the better. The more sardines I can get, the better. Uh, but I would like to see a drag setting. Oh my god, this was going to make people seasick. Uh, another thing that I want to see in the game is, obviously, lures. I want to see a variety of different lures. Um, from the screenshots that we saw in 0 0.6 six during the 0 0.6 development life cycle um, we saw a bunch of wow come here we saw a bunch of different lures in fact we saw about three different lures or at least I spotted three different lures and they were what I could only describe as crank baits jerk baits and the other one was like a it was almost like a feathered lure like a like a crankbait with little feathers on it. Wow, come here! I'm all about the little sardines, by the way. I'm all about the sardines. I'm all about them. The more that I can get, the better. It's basically additional bait at this point. Um, I'd like to see new uh, fishing rods that are not telescopic but are actually in sections. For example. Uh, classic travel spinning rods which are a four piece setup or just classic spinning rods which are like two between two and three piece depending on the size if it's a six foot or a 12 foot rod etc uh, I'd like to see different size reels like this is a, as I said a four to six thousand uh, size reel I'd like to see like a rear drag uh, course type reel or a carp reel a kind of specialist reel oh fish got away damn it I'm hungry. I know I'm hungry. I'm I'm talking about something here. Um, what else? What else? Um, new lines as well. Uh, the lines that we've got are predominantly predominantly nylon. Um, maybe I'd like to see a little bit of braid in the game. Maybe make it a little bit harder to find because braid, in fact, is the best line that you can get. Don't at me. You guys that run purely only flu fluorocarbon, you weirdos. <laughs> Braid's the best. Just accept it, okay? Just accept it. Um, what else have we got? So, I talked a little bit about the lures. I'd like to see additional lures as well. Uh, soft plastic lures, maybe some creature baits, jig heads. Oh, I thought... I... See, I can't tell because the, the reflection of the... The reflection of the floater, or the, the, the bobber, as you guys call it. Whoa! Hey, more spotted sardines. We'll love to see it. More meat baits, please. Uh, do I have anything to eat? Can I eat any of these? Donkey steak. I can't, meet, I can't eat that raw. I could eat the little sardine raw. Maybe I can't, actually. Anyway, fire away. Um, I don't know how difficult it would be to put fly fishing into this game. Like, <laughs> I mean, you guys know fine well that I go fly fishing. Like, fly fishing is like a part of the fishing disciplines that I cover. I've got a bait caster. I've got spinning reels. I've got multipliers. I've got a. I've, I've got my hardy set up. Um, I did or still do have a beach caster. I don't use it anymore, unfortunately, because... Wow! Come here! Orata! Let's go! Let's just put this over here. There we go. Do that. That makes it neater. That's a lot neater. That's nice. Okay, let's make a few more meat baits. There we go. Throw that back in there. Double click on all these, get them back into my inventory. Uh, what else am I missing? What else am I missing? I don't know if it would be worth doing this, because it, it kind of takes the fun out of fishing for the bait, but casting nets... Casting nets might be a cool thing to add to the game. I mean, if they're gonna, if they're gonna have, like, if they're gonna have fishing in this game, 
expect me to ask for things. Like, expect me to ask for, like, you know, fly fishing. Different types of lures. Different types of, like, jigging lures, spinning lures, surface water lures. Um, how cool would it be to see the Whopper Plopper in this game? And seeing, like, an animated pike coming up behind it with a wake and absolutely devouring the Whopper Plopper. That would be awesome. Or even a catfish. I know catfish can also hit surface lures as well. That would be really, really cool. I would imagine a lot of people have got something to... Oh, I missed a fish. I wasn't paying attention. It's because the waves, the, 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 the reflection of the bobber in the water is throwing me off because I don't know when it's going under by, you know, a fish doing it or if it's going under because the waves are forcing it under or going over the top of it. It's also in a really bad spot, actually. I'm going to just reel that in. Come on, reel it in. Reel it in. The reeling could be done a little bit smoother as well, if I'm going to be honest as well. Right. Easiest way to do this. Put it away. Get it back out. Right, I'm just going to... Yeah, that'll do. Right, keeping an eye on it. At least that's got the, um... Oh, that is messing with my eyes. That is messing with my eyes. I can't tell if it's going under. Oh! There we go. Keep. More sardines, please. More meat on the hooks, please. I just did an underhand cast. If you just... If you just click on the left mouse button, you do an underhand cast and it kind of just sits close to you. So, that's what we'll do from now on. I don't want to cast it out too far anyway. It doesn't matter, but I Come here! By the way, this is the same way that I react when I actually catch a fish. In real life, that's... That, <laughs> that is the immediate reaction. It doesn't matter what, <laughs> what kind of fish it is. If I can see a bobber flying away underwater, or if I see my lure or my line getting absolutely demolished, the reaction is, whoa! <laughs> Every time. Every time. If casual guy comments on this, he'll probably tell you the same. Right, come on. Come on, just a few more wee sardines. Just a few more wee sardines. Come on. Come on. Come on, dip under. I need two more. I just want two more. Come on. There's fish surrounding it, but there's no fish going for it. For the folk that are probably going to ask when's the next fishing vid video, um, I don't know. I don't personally know. Um, I go fishing after work on most days. And on a Saturday, I... Uh, I'd like to go fishing with Ian more often. I'd like to go fishing with more of the guys as well. Uh, I've got a couple of boys who actively go fishing. They they don't know a lot about it, but they love going out with like myself, Ian. Uh, I'll just tell you who they are. Their names are Matt and Robert. And myself and Ian. The four of us, that's the four of us. We go out fishing and... It doesn't really matter if we don't catch anything. It's usually just to get together. It's, you know, just hanging out. That's the kind of vibe that we go for. Where the hell are the fish? Right. Let's change the bait out. Let's go for some sardines. Yee, let's go for some sardines. Let's get four ready. Make into bait. Make into bait. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can catch a big fishy. Big fishy. Look at that sardine. It looks like a mackerel. Underhand. Right. Come on, fishies. Come on. Show me your wee fishy faces. I wish we could catch the shark. I really do wish we could catch the shark. 
it would be like it would be like such a such a task as well. Like you'd have to you'd have to hook it, and then you'd have to get like a. Wah! Oh no, you mother! F I need to learn to control this. I need to learn to control it. I'm not doing a very good job. That's the second time it's bit me off. It feels like I'm. Oh, it feels like I'm back out losing my lures. <laughs> it feels like I'm back out losing my lures. Oh, this game can't do this to me. Right. Let's try again. I'm th right. See, before we do anything, let's just gun our thirst. There we go. A wee break. A wee break with a little bit of uh, ca carrot juice. Ew. Carrot juice. Ew. I mean, each to their own, but eh. And yeet that into space. That really did go to space. Okay. Let's try again. Underhand cast. Right. Tuna, orata, things. Come and get it. Come and get this little fishy. That's the audience, that's the audience outside of the scum world coming to check up on uh, if I've actually caught anything. I've caught only sardines. Come on, show me a fishy. I'm gonna get one. I'm going to get one. Ah! This one was an easy one. Another rata. This one's three kilograms. What is three kilograms in pounds? What is... Hold on. I'm getting my phone. I need to figure out how much how much three kilos is in pounds. Um, I'm probably killing the fish, but that's fine, because it's a fake one. In pounds. That is a six pun fish. Six and a half pounds. That's just what you... Like... See when people uh, measure the weight of their fish, uh, that is what we measure them in. We use pounds. LBS. Or pun, as as some folks say it. Some, some people like to weigh it in kilograms, but pun's just the way that we refer to it. Anyway, I don't want to see any of these metric and imperial value losers in my comments. It's like a hybrid. Scotland's like a bit of a hybrid. We use both the imperial uh, measurements and metric measurements as well. So we're a weird one. In fact, the whole UK is like that. We're a weird one. We're just strange, okay? If I say we're, if I say we're strange, it means we're strange. Like everybody in Europe has accustomed themselves to the metric system. America's still got the imperial system. I th and we've got like a mix, we're like in the middle, we're like imperial slash metric. <laughs> when we pick and choose, you know? <laughs> right, come on we fishies. Did I even put any line on this? I did. Sorry, did I put any bait on this? I did, in fact, put bait on this. Come on, little fishies. Show me the goods. Maybe I should cast out a little bit further. Maybe they're a little bit shy with the boat or the butt. Finding Nemo jokes. <laughs> but um, back to back to the um, the fact that I will be making more fishing videos. Um, what I'll do is I won't be able to do a full sitting unless it's a Saturday. Uh, instead of doing that, what I'll do is I'll do like little. After work, I usually go fishing for about one to two hours until it's almost nightfall when the sun goes down. Um, what I'll do is I'll take my GoPro out then and I'll just record myself maybe over the course of like two or three days or something like that. It's easier doing that than it is doing a full sitting like the uh, like the video I did over at the loch, that remote loch. Um, because I'm back into swing with work, I can't really do that that often unless I have like a a vacation or anything like that or a, a, a holiday away from my work. 
Which, to be honest with you, I need to put in some because I'd really like to get a, a video made in the likes of Loch Lomond or something like that. Let's see if I can catch a pike at Loch Lomond. That would be so cool. I think a lot of you guys would enjoy that. Like, you remember that remote lock I was at? Loch Lomond is like a million times bigger than that and a million times bloody deeper than that as well. And Loch Lomond is absolutely choked with pike. Big pike too. Big perch too. I think there's tension there. Uh, what else is in there? Trout. Wild brownies are in there. I've heard a few people have caught salmon in there. Wow! This one's easy. This one's an easy one. It's another orata. Four kilograms. Right, what is that in pun? What is that in pounds? We need to find out. Four kilos. Eight pun! We're getting heavier! We're getting heavier, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting... Oh, don't you fall into the water. Get your little butt in there. There we go. Sardine time. Uh, maybe I should change location. Maybe I'm feeling a different location right now. Maybe I'll go to that little bay down there. So let's go a little drive. We could fish underneath the bridge. Let's go fish underneath the bridge, actually. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh my god, the waves! There's one thing that I need to fix about the waves, and it is this. The waves need to be done a little bit more subtle. Wait a minute. Ah, it's a bird. <laughs> I thought it was a UFO. These waves are so challenging. Oh god! I hate it when it goes underneath the water like that. I, I, oh, don't do it! Don't do it. Oh, there's the shark! We saw you. We saw you. I saw his fins. Right, let's head towards the uh, the bridge, or maybe not fish at the bridge. We could fish just off the coast here, see if we can find any um, any other different species. So we've got sardines, orata, and we need to find something different now. I'd like to find something a little bit different, a tuna of sorts. I don't know, just something a little bit different. Right, where am I now? Okay, we'll just go round. In fact, we could fish between the island. We could fish between these two little islands here. Yeah, this looks cool. A little sheltered bay. This is nice. Oh, and there's definitely fish here. Right, we'll start. We'll start a little bit of fishing here. A little scenic area. Like this is this is my kind of fishing right here. Right, let's just launch this because this is a nice sheltered little bay. Yeah, the waves have calmed down a wee bit here. Let's see if we can get any bites. Come on, fishy. I'd like to get something half decent. I'm seeing a lot of fish around the area, though. There's a rata right there. What? Oh, it's another another orata. Oh, it's only a wee, it's only a wee, uh, four pun one. It's only a little baby one. We'll keep them. It's always worth keeping them. 
Right, let's launch out there. There we go. So we've got sardines. We've got two schools of uh, of sardines, and one of orata. No difference in species, but that's okay. That's fine. Either way, like the amount of fish that I've caught right now is quite sufficient. Um, enough to survive on. I don't have to worry about meat. I don't have to worry about protein and such. You know, I can just grill up these uh, these fish steaks. Come on, little fishies. Little fishies, come on. Show yourselves. Yeah! Oh, god damn it! Come on. Bite it again. Come back for it. Come back for it. You don't know that there's a hook there. It's lovely bait. It's lovely meat. It's just sitting there waiting for you. Attack it. It won't bite back. Until I set the hook. <laughs> Come on. I want at least one more. Tell you what. We'll reel it in. I love the way that the, uh, I love the way that the fish actually, like, fly about or swim about in their little schools. I love that. I love the look of it as well in the water. Do you mind? Right, put that away. Underhand cast. Come on, little fishies. I can't believe I missed that other one. I didn't even realise it went under. The reflection does need to get sorted, though. The reflection's a little bit, um... Kind of wacky. <laughs> it's kind of it's kinda loopy, if I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Half the time, my focus lo is lost on the, the bobber. And it's focused more on the reflection. Even... Uh, is that even the... Yeah, it's the reflection. It just looks strange, and it's messing with my eyes. Maybe it's because I've had focus mode on. Mm, no, it's still bad. It's still bad even without the focus mode on. Yeah, they need to give that a little bit of a rework, in my opinion. I mean, if the devs want to, like, maybe talk to me, I could maybe shine a light on some, you know tips to make the fishing a little bit more, you know, interesting. I know it's a mini game technically. What? But I could definitely make this a little bit more interesting. Right. I am going to call it there, ladies and gentlemen, because I don't want to bore you guys senseless with uh, with just fishing today, even though that's what I said I was going to do. Um but I'm not going to do a full episode on just fishing because I, I myself need to get a lot bit better at it. I did get snapped off twice, just like today when I went fishing for pike. <laughs> uh, I need to go back and ca I need to go back and actually fish for those pike again. You know that, right? I need to go back for those damn things. I can't let them not be caught. Like that that's how adamant I am right now. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was one of the shorter episodes that I've done uh, on this series so far. It was mostly just fishing and a little bit of chat. Um I do apologize for not getting this out yesterday. I would have done so, but I fell asleep because I've been exhausted from work. That's what happens when you have a nine to five and you have an hour commute or an hour plus commute uh, to and from your work. That's just how it is, unfortunately. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up on it, if you please. Uh, leave a comment down below. If anybody is an active angler out there, uh, what do you guys enjoy catching? I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to hear all the all, all the PBs that you've got, your personal bests. I'd love to hear where you're actually catching fish, if you're in the States or if you're in a different country in Europe, if you're in the UK, Scotland, England, Ireland, Wales, etc., um, I'd really love to hear your stories. I'd really love to read about read about them. Uh, so please leave a comment down below. Uh, 
that as well, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider please consider subscribing and ring the little bell and you'll stay up to date with videos just like this, as well as a Sunday night live stream which starts between 6 and 7 pm, goes for about 3 4 hours, and we play usually Scum, Stalker, or Squad, or anything that I feel like playing on the evening. Tomorrow we're going to be playing Stalker. I hope to see you there at about 6 or 7 pm UK time. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, from myself, I've been Mr. Fudo. I'll see you all another time.